Okay, so we have a car that's driving, and the, the uh, driver sees this signal, but it takes him a little time before he can start to brake. That's called the reaction time. And then he stops. Now, initially we're going at 15 meters per second, and the reaction time is 0.7 seconds. We accelerate negative 5 until we stop. Now the initial velocity for that stopping part is our 15 meters per second from the previous part because as soon as you start braking you haven't slowed down at all yet. Now we have two different types of motion here. So on the uh, reaction time side we have to do constant velocity. There is no acceleration while you're reacting. You haven't hit the brake yet. That's why we use this equation, the V equals delta S over T. Rearrange it plug in what we know, and we get 10.5 meters for the reaction distance. So now, let's see what we can do for the slowing down part. Uh, we don't know time, so we'll pick the Amigo that does not have time in it. We rearrange it, plug in what we know, and we get a value for uh, the slowing down part distance. And then we're just going to add those two together to get the total distance that we're stopping.